Tiffany Pratt now. So she is adding some personality into your space, uh, your fall table. Everything is gorgeous and clean and crisp, and then you want that you want that touch of personality. Totally. And I know it seems like it wouldn't come from me. The message of <laughs> start with the white baseline. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it is. So as you can see over here, I did that. I, it was all from Ikea. So yes. Ikea white table, Ikea chairs, my linen drop, I mean tablecloth. Mm -hmm. And then I figure with something like that, it's quiet enough visually that you can do something wild, right? right. So whatever your color scheme is, whatever you have in your home, Make it work. Make it work. Make it work. Use what you've got. So um, we all have a dollar store, right? Yes. We all love a, a We can dollar find a dollar store. store. Yes. And so ch platters or chargers. So this is what I made on our tablescape earlier. Yeah. And this is just a plastic gold plate. Yes. Or And today we're going to do the platter just because it's prettier and it's more space. But you can also use this. Yeah. I just recommend using this more for display, less, nothing with food. Okay. Because this is paint. We're not glazing it. This is for pretty. That makes sense. So, okay. So this is like light as can be. Yep. You know where to find them. And the reason I chose this metallic is because gold is a hot shade right now. It is. But trying to do the gold leafing sometimes is a little bit more complicated. Yes. So it's a way that we will take some white gesso. So this is an everyday art supply store. Nothing crazy. Mm -hmm. And you literally just do a simple gesture of white gesso. Now, gesso is like a liquid canvas. Oh, it's, I it see. It acts differently than an acrylic paint because it's got a little bit more of a barrier to it, and okay. it's a little bit more matte than your regular acrylic paint. So what I did is I just took the gesso, bumped out some spots in the white, let it dry, and then we have the dried <laughs> gesso spots that you can still see the gold, right? Yeah. So it still looks festive and, and hot in good times, right? Because yeah. we're all loving the gold. We love the gold. We're loving ourselves we want the gold. Some bling. But then some it, warm bling. So now you're kind of going over top of the white gesso uh -huh. in the colors of your of your of your choice. Okay, so I can pick whatever I want. You do what you want. Okay, so is there are there any rules I need to pay attention to? I like when this doesn't get super liquidy. Okay. So that's why I didn't put water out here. I want this to be nice, thick, chunky bits of paint. So keep your cool colors together on your brush. Yeah. Keep your so I have two brushes each. Cool tones of one brush, warm tones in another. It's kind of fun and a great little painterly tip. Yeah. That if you're mixing colors on your brush. So let's just say like I'm going to go here. I'm going to add like a little bit of red and the paint oh, together. Oh, I can do that, can I? Yeah. It, it adds like a different flair. Yeah. You know? And it also doesn't look like you just squirted that business right out of the tube. It makes it look like, <laughs> you know, I know what's up. Right. I'm like an artist, so totally. Just, and then you add a little light over here. Look, look at that blend abilities. Look at that Beautiful. good times, right? I'm going to keep mine to the cool colors, I think. This is the other thing. I know you and I have talked about this a thousand times. Yeah. But I love myself getting the whole fam jam involved. Absolutely. I just, because I'm a former art teacher, I really like it right. when you can do things together. If you have kids, if you... In my case, it's my niece and my nephew. Mm -hmm. I'm always wanting to make things with them. Yeah. And this is something that, again, they'll take pride in. They'll be a part of. They'll help you set the table. Yes. They can talk to the friends and the family. And see what I've done again? See, I've mixed. Very nice. So I'm just mix, And then you can get crazy, add a little purple in that mix. So oh. yours is, like, more warm. Mine, I'm going very cool. I'm actually trying to do your hair here. What? <laughs> Your inspo? I, yeah, you're my inspo. And I know you don't always like painting, by the way. I know sometimes you feel like I'm twisting your arm. You're like, she's making me paint. I can't. <laughs> I don't like it. But, I, but here's the thing. How long is this taking us? Not. It's taking us no time at all. And it, the results are pretty gorge, right? Yes. And at the end of the day, I think that's what life should be about, is doing these fun little touches and mm -hmm. not feeling encumbered by the time constraint of something that is personal. Look, you know? I made it very arty. I did some oh, dots. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, right? Oh, I'm feeling insignificant. I can sell this okay, for like a million dollars Look at, no, hold on. I gotta like, put some dark. And here, look at that. Dotted it. And this business is acrylic paint, so it's so quick to dry. Yeah. And at the end of the day, let's just talk about, really, like. It's, it's nice. It's a it's splash cool. of color. And I, I definitely see this as a family project. I think it would be nice to see, get no, the little ones involved Don't stop well. taking it. And, yeah. So, speaking of inspo, uh, yeah. take a look at the art that we had in our first segment. That's from Partial Truth. Gallery. Yes. Um, and, and there is something very reminiscent of that on the chargers right now yes this is a cool gallery because I, you can sort of you can lease out art and like um sort of 
pay as or, you go. Exactly. Rent to own. Rent you can to rent, own. You can even rent it for a space, have it up for a certain period of time, and they'll take it back. That's but I cool. think that it's so important because we all want beautiful art in our home. Yes. We don't know where to get it. We can't afford it. And I do it in my home. I'm obsessed with them. Like, Love I it. have all partial in my house because I want real art. So, anyways, great service. Love it, Tiff. Yeah. Thank you so thank much. You.